all right as you can see our real flow setup i already set the file so let's start with the emitters you can create emitters from this emitter menu like circle so i already set these four circles so let's modify one circle and you can make same changes to others to select circle 01 and place place it as per your requirement there is no necessary or particular parameters to positions to place them so for select first circle then go to particles and make some changes in density resolution internal external pressure and viscosity viscosity is very important for this effect because lava is not a thin liquid it's very thick so increase the viscosity then go to circle yeah we are not going to emit our uh, lava in constant flow constant more yeah constant flow so we need some fluctuation so what we can do we will animate the speed yeah so from 0 to 5 frames we can set the speed from like 3 or 4 then just right click on it and select add key then go to frame 10 again change the speed increase it or decrease it just uh, after uh, set the parameter just right click on it and press add key make the same changes till frame 30 or 40 like as per your requirement and just right click on it and select curve here you can see the curve then go to show key properties and select post behavior loop so we don't don't need to animate till the end, end frame all right so make the same changes to our other three circle parameter circle emitter sorry then let's add some demons like gravity everyone knows what actually gravity do then noise field noise field is for uh, disturb the particle motion yeah that's smooth motion it disturb the smooth motion then k isolated k isolated is a uh, k isolated delete the single particles which is not actually required which increase the simulation time and all that stuff then k volume k volume is like a box no liquid can or no particles can cross this boundary uh, whatever particles try to cross this boundary k volume delete th those particles all right so this is the simple demon setup so let's see the gravity parameters yeah this is strength 9.8 then select the noise field yeah you can see the strength 600 scale factor 10 then uh, go to k isolated select the k isolated time 0 0.1 yeah it means uh, if we can see some single particles the k is isolated time after some certain time this particle automatically will die all right so we can set the time over here then k volume this is very simple and demon actually all right so here you can see the setup now just hit the simulation button all right so here you can see the particle motion over here now we have to add our mesh so select the circle emitters then just add particle mesh all right you can see particle mesh all right so you can see the particle mesh parameters like metaballs polygon size you can check then filters like relaxation tension steps you can set these parameters as per requirement all right then select our emitter which is placed in particle mesh then go to field here you can say set the blend factor radius all right these are same parameters 
all right so after that just select particle mesh and hit the build mesh button so you can see the mesh over here so let me hide the particles all right here you can see the mesh so this is very simple process to create lava effect you can improve this effect by adding some extra demons or some modify the parameters or add some extra emitters it's up to you totally it's very simple effect if you can get idea what actually you want it's very simple so after create the mesh after build the mesh now it's time to render lighting and rendering so let's move ahead to our 3d application 3ds max so let's go